Hi, I'm Kristen Bird for Red Carpet Report, and we are here for the 22nd Annual Art Directors Guild Awards. Congratulations. This Thank was you. one of my favorite series last year. Um, kind of overwhelmed at how realistic it felt in some ways. So obviously for you, you're creating kind of a bleak world, but you have to have a little bit of optimism in there too, right? Well, you know, it was really a collaborative effort between Reed Morano, our director, and Ann Crabtree, our costume designer. And we decided we were like the mayors of Gilead. And as we emerged ourselves in the society, we were like disturbed. And then we were also like, how can we create this world that's like depressing for women and minorities and everything? And then, you know, bring a positive aspect to it. So then, you know, really Elizabeth Moss was a big influence on about this is a story about love and finding her child. So that was like the little glimpse of like happiness and that we, we kind of grabbed onto. But, you know, it was just an exhilarating ride to like create this like utopian society that's modern day. And that was also the challenges of it, of like this these costumes that Anne created that were, you know, vintage and, and nostalgic. And I had to, I had to bring it into the modern world as much as possible so that you as the viewer would feel like it could happen tomorrow or it is happening right now. Right. Yeah. I've got to imagine this is the type of project you bring a little bit home with you every day. Was it hard to like put some of that stuff aside? Cause some of the episodes are heavy. Uh, I was literally throwing up on the way to work sometimes. Are you kidding me? It was really heavy sometimes. It was really intense, like being able to also deal with the schedule and like, and the, the, the scripts were so amazing and me wanting to bring every moment to life is the best of my ability. So it was a lot of pressure to also like create this world um, at the level that I am used to, because I come from features, and so TV is just so much more challenging with time and budget. So I was there at four in the morning until 10 or 11 o'clock at night, and so is Ann Crabtree. We would laugh as we both would pull up and be like, okay, you can't sleep, I can't sleep, neither I. So I lived and, dream and dreamed it for, you know, eight months. Unbelievable. Uh, is there one particular set that you just loved, what you created? The house, yeah. you know, I built the entire house. Uh, and so like I'm really proud of it you know the color palette and the textures and all the world and you know really thinking about you know the upstairs you know corridor to Ofred's bedroom like making it narrow so that she's like you know bounced off of it when you know she would take her down the hallway and her room you know was the most difficult set because there's no there's no there's nothing in there besides her bed and a chair and a desk that she can't even write at because there's no pen so really that was that was the hardest set for me to, to design I love it. Well, I'm looking forward to season two. Real is it good? Are you working on it? I unfortunately am not. I know it was really hard to pass, but it's in Toronto, my nine-year-old son. But I'm working with um, Patty Jenkins right now in a series called One Day She'll Darken. So that's really exciting. And I also designed um, uh, Electric Dreams for Philip K. Dick. So yeah. yeah. Great projects ahead. Great projects ahead. Well, so, congratulations. Thank you so much. All right. Good night. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and in the comments below, let us know what film you would like to live in from 2017.